Hey everyone, I'm Boone from PremiumBeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can export files with transparency from Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. So just a while ago I produced a tutorial about how to create these anime style speed lines inside of After Effects and it's really cool. To see the tutorial just follow the link in the description or you can check out the link in the corresponding blog post. So let's say now that I want to take these speed lines and I want to use them on a bunch of different clips inside of other video editing applications. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you just how we can do that. I'm going to show you how we can export this as a standalone file that we can use as an overlay. We'll be able to simply drag and drop this for use in Adobe Premiere Pro or any other NLE for that matter. All right, so here are my speed lines. They're isolated in their own composition here, ready to export. And once again, if you wanna see how to create these speed lines from scratch, you can follow the link in the corresponding blog post and check out that tutorial. It's pretty cool, pretty fun little project. But here I have my speed lines, and now let's say I wanna make some adjustments before I export these. So first, let's say I, I don't wanna use a white color. So I'm gonna open up my contents and the shape element, go to fill, select the color here let's say i want them to be black so i'll change the color to black click ok and then we have a problem it's blending in with the background here so we have this background color that is black but if i go down here there's a little button called toggle transparency grid so if i click on this that's going to show us that we have all of this transparency information here so where exactly was that black color coming from well if i go up to composition and select composition settings we can see right down here it says background color. And if I click on here, I can change this to whatever I want. Let's say we wanna make it a red. Click OK. Now if I go back down here and turn this transparency grid off, I see the red color. Now, by default, if I render or export anything out from Adobe After Effects, it's automatically gonna include this background color. It's not going to include this transparency information. If I do a dynamic link with Premiere Pro, it will indeed carry that transparency information over. But if I'm just doing a straight export, I need to tell After Effects in the output settings of my render that I wanna include that transparency information. Because if I don't, this color is just gonna be included. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go back down here, and toggle the transparency back on. And then I go to composition, add to render queue. And let's just leave it at the default settings here. Render that out. And it even shows us in the preview there, we can see the transparency information. However, when I go into Premiere Pro and I bring this graphic in and open it up, I can see that that red color is very much still on there. So what I need to do is go back inside of After Effects and I can just actually grab this and hit Command D to duplicate that. And now I'll go to Output Module and select Lossless. And this brings up our module settings. Now, if we look down here, we can see under Video Output, we have the channel selection. So now videos are made up of red, green, and blue channels. Now if we open this up, we also have our alpha channel. Now only some codecs support alpha channels. Now an alpha channel is where all that transparency information is gonna be stored. So I can select if I just wanna export that alpha channel by itself, or I can do the entire video signal with the alpha channel included. So I'm gonna go ahead and select RGB plus alpha. Now I can select okay, and I'm gonna render this out. And now go back over to Premiere Pro and bring this next graphic in. And let's take a look. Now when I open this up, I don't see anything. And that's because we have an alpha channel here and, and our graphic is actually black. So to see it, I'm gonna need to open up a sequence here, something to use it on. And now I can grab this graphic and drop it over top. And there we go. We have our graphics and we have the transparency here so we can see the layer underneath. So everything's looking good here. Now if I grab that last one, so let's delete this. Once again, if I grab that first one, drag it over, we're gonna only see that red color. So that is in fact how you can export with alpha channel and transparency information from Adobe After Effects. Go.